got that set up. Hi, Joe. Welcome. Sorry, I had to do my announcement on uh, online. I'm live. On. All right, got that set up. So I uh, I decided, like you recommended, Joe, that I am going to do. Let me take these off. I don't need them. Uh, I'm gonna do some heroic runs, maybe probably just one because it takes a long time, but I'm going to do a heroic one run with uh, TapDog. Um, so I've had a little bit of time to look at this account now that I've, I've got it back. Um, the other night when I looked at this account, I was really overwhelmed because I hadn't seen the account in a while and I was just excited to have it back. But um, I've taken a little bit of time to look at what my account used to be and what it is currently so I could kind of get an idea of uh, where I'm at and where I used to be. So give me a second and I'm going to pop up on the screen my old current deck and my current current deck if that makes sense. So I'll change my capture to be the entire monitor and we're going to click done. Okay so for starters when I open up my deck the first thing you're going to notice is my final form cards are not as good. Um, oh gosh, that's really hard to see, I realize. Um, let me see if I can... I'm gonna minimize that, bring this up, see if I can put that that way. Okay, there we go. So uh, the, the left is my my old deck and the right is my current deck. Obviously the animation tells you that it's my phone, but uh, also moving it more left and right. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is I don't have the same final form cards. I'm actually missing um, the Snipers and the Poisonous Prince, um, which is a shame. So I don't have as good of final forms. I am going to be able to get rid of this Alien Beastie and, and upgrade it to a Food Squad, which is a 3421. But um, outside of that, the rest of these cards are going to stay the same they are. So now I'm going to move over again. Um, so from there, I do have an Anger, but it's not fused, so I'm missing an Anger card. I don't have Apocalypse. I do have Arcade, obviously, and Cartoon, as you can see. I only have one Chinzilla, so I am missing an, another Onyx Chinzilla that used to be fused. And then I do have a Curse card, but it's also not fused. So I'm, I'm missing quite a few cards. I didn't realize when I looked uh, the, last, the last time, or uh, yesterday, when I was talking about this. This is the one that hurts the most to me is uh, I am missing, <laughs> I don't think this is actually the next picture, because I should be going, let me go back, sorry. Oh, maybe that is the next one. I just have a huge jump there. No, I'm missing one card here, but I don't know what it is. But long story short, I don't have uh, the knowledge uh, fused. I think I have one knowledge. I'm missing leader and metal onyx. Um, when it goes to that sci-fi, oh, you know what that other one is? It's not showing. That's a knight that's fused, and again, I only have one of those. Um, when it comes to sci-fi, I do have that fuse, but I don't have a fuse for science, so I'm missing that one as well. And then let me just get a little bit further down here. I only have one superhero, so I don't have that fused. I don't have sword or toy. And then vampire, I do have, but I only have one of him, so I don't have him fused. And then same thing with Void, I don't have a Void. I do have the Water and I do have the Wizard. So that's kind of to show you guys what that looks like. Sorry, I'm just going to get this back to being the way it normally is. Uh, that's not right. Let me, uh, let me resize this. There we go. Hey, welcome Rackus. And Emil, sorry, I was I was uh, unable to see my screen. I had to had to mess with it a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys um, that unfortunately I'm missing a lot more Onyx cards than I originally thought. I think when I first wrote it down, I was only missing two or three cards that I could tell. But uh, long story short, I was actually missing probably close to ten or fifteen Onyx cards, and a lot of those were fused. So it's a shame. Um. I'm sorry, you were saying something about... Yeah, not the snipers, right? Yeah, that's that's a big shame. I'm missing the snipers. Uh, was Ash one you hadn't worked on in the past? I do have Ash here. Um, 
I, I can't remember if that's, I, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been too long and, and I've been playing on underdog for a while. So I really couldn't remember the cards I had on this account. But, uh, when I looked at the photos I had in my backups, that's when I realized how many of the Onyx cards I was missing. And those cards were from May. And I think that was right before I lost my account. Cause I think my, my video I put up about losing my account was in July. So there, there might have been one or two other cards that I had, had gained between that time, but more than likely this is the, the big focus that I had lost. Um, it just wasn't in your old deck pictures. Oh, no, I did have Ash. Um, I don't think it's, I don't think I had it in my old um, little Alchemist deck, but if I went to my um, Heroics deck, it was in there. I'm just going to double check that. Yeah, it's in my it's in my um, heroics deck. It just wasn't in my um, arena deck at that time because it wasn't it didn't combo well with the other cards. I had I had so many Onyx cards that I actually had some that were not in my arena deck. Yeah, but uh, anywho, I have not played the game for a couple hours, so I need to do all my my normal little playthroughs here so I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of this real quick and then I'll go on to my heroics um, after I got done with work today um, I went down to the city of Santa Ana which is about a I don't know 30 45 minute drive away um, because my wife and I we knew we with this year of COVID wouldn't be able to go to Disneyland but we still wanted to be able to go out and do fun things together. So we had uh, purchased a um, annual pass to the Santa Ana Zoo, which is a really small zoo. It's it's you can go through the whole thing in maybe half an hour or an hour at most. And so we decided to to take our daughter over there. Uh, and there was absolutely no one inside. I think while we were there, we might have seen one or two other families in in the park the whole time so it was really nice and it was a good idea um to go and so we we got to um one of the fun things about the santa Ana zoo is in order um the, the way it was first started was a guy granted the 20 acres or however big it is um to the city of santa Ana to use as a park and his only stipulation was that at all times there had to be at least 50 um, monkeys on the premises for uh, for whatever reason. He wanted to make sure that the zoo had 50 monkeys at all times. And so uh, for the longest time, that was the case. And then one, one day in like the 1970s or something, a monkey died, bringing the total down to 49. But that same day, a monkey that was pregnant gave birth and uh, had the 50th baby and so from then on they've always had more than just the 50 monkeys because they want to <laughs> make sure they follow and respect that guy's wishes so it's just a, a little fun thing but it's a it's a tiny zoo all of the um animals there are <laughs> yeah sorry platypus there was no platypuses in, in the zoo you don't have to worry but um all of the animals are relatively not super unique. I think the, the most unique animal they have at the zoo um, is an ocelot, which is kind of like a um, a small version of a leopard, I guess you could say. Um, they also have a bald eagle there, which is pretty cool, um, and some sloths, but the sloths were not out today. I was a little bit bummed because I love to see sloths, um, but primarily they've got all sorts of, of primates, so... Um, marmots and lemurs and things I've never heard of before that are super tiny but n none of the big guys so you won't see um you won't see apes or or gorillas there or orangutans anything like that it's it's all the small ones that are like 10 to 30 pounds uh minecraft has ocelots oh, okay cool oh you know that from minecraft that's funny guys i um I'll be honest, the only Minecraft I've played is the Minecraft Dungeons. So I've, I've not had a chance to uh, 
to try the actual game of Minecraft. I'm going to have to try that maybe on stream sometime and, and start my own little story and adventure. But I feel like if I was to do a live stream on Minecraft, I would be on here for hours because that can be rather addicting. Um, so I, I mentioned in the Discord today that playing with Tapdog is very different than playing with um, Underdog for a couple of reasons. One, he's got a whole lot more health than Underdog does, and then I'm also able to play this account a little bit less aggressively because I can do um, HP plus rather than um, using Tiebreaker. I don't know why I'm not using Tiebreaker, but um, I just find that this works extremely well using the uh, HP plus. So he's DBS is using his heroics deck right now, so it should be pretty easy to beat him. Normally, it's a little bit of a struggle, but um, for the most part, it's been fairly easy to to win these games. I've, I think I've lost one or two games, and I've tied once or twice as well. But for the most part, they've been all wins. I think you'll see here. Yeah, I'm 15 stars, so I haven't lost in in a while. Uh, I'm trying to get to legendary, and I think. Maybe tomorrow I might actually get to Legendary 1, but we'll see. Um, I've been having a hard time against Tyler, su surprisingly, so I'm going to try against Bogey. Let me see. I, I missed a couple c comments here. Uh, Joe said it's a one-time purchase unless you're hosting a server. For Are you referring to Minecraft? When am I doing my arena runs? I'm, well, I'm doing arena runs right now. Do you, do you mean when am I doing my heroic runs? I, I'll i do that after this. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what my arena's been looking like. But um, I'll most of the, the time will be heroic runs since that's what I said I'm going to be doing. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick peek at uh, my deck when it's playing against other higher level decks. Okay, this is going to be a race to the bottom here. <laughs> we'll see. I think I beat him. Yeah, I beat him. Okay. Oh, Minecraft. Yeah, so I, I, um, I'm open to the idea of buying the game. I just never... I feel like it's completely up my alley, and it would take much of my time, and much of my time is, is already being used on other games, so that's why I'm afraid to uh, play it. But, um, yeah, with that being said, we're going to go into Heroics. So deck number one here is my Heroics deck. I'll sort it by rarity just so you guys can see it. Um, I have a couple fused Onyx cards here, then some unfused ones. Uh, the card I'm working on right now is Rainbow. I do have that in my arena, but uh, I think tomorrow I'll get it to level 4. Uh, and I'll probably leave it at level 4 if I'm being honest, because that'll be the only level 4 in there. These are my final form cards. Sorry, I didn't mention that, but you, you can tell. Um, I do have quite a few Absorbs on there, and that's intentional, so I can keep, continue staying as a master alchemist for longer periods of time because you do more damage that way so if i get low on health i can use one of these guys when they pop up and then i uh, just unfused cards here just for the extra damage in turns um i think i made the greater back in the day when i didn't understand how diamond this must have been one of my very first cards i got because i didn't understand how diamond forms worked uh, these are my when your opponent has full combo meter and you're afraid they're going to try to attack you and, and you lose your uh, attack, so you play these guys down. Or if your opponent has five health or less and you can kill them using one of these, I use that. Um, my gold final forms, I don't really use them for their powers, except for maybe Clyde or Bridget for their healing, but all the rest I don't. Again, those were ones I used at the beginning when I first started playing the game. Gold combo cards that are fused. Unfused gold final forms, unfused gold combo cards, and then it just goes down from here to the silver fused. Oh, I had a couple more, de oh, just one defense card there. Couple fused silver combos, unfused silver combos, bronze fused, bronze unfused, and that's about it. I'm going to change the alchemist type here and then look at your guys' comments before I start this game.
Dat said, there's so little content in L.A. that saying heroics run might as well mean everything L.A. has to encapsulate. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, how much dust do you get a day at this level in the game? That's a great question. So I think on average, I can for sure in a non-heroics week get about 2,000 um, gold. Um, in a heroics week like this, it could be as much as 3,000 per day. Uh, so what that would equate to is I'd be able to buy 10 of the $200 packs, which is at least 50, um, 50 dust, but I usually average about 75 to 100 most, um, most times. So, somewhere around 75 a day, uh, closer to 100 during Heroics Weeks because you have those extra packs you're able to get. Um... Joe asked, are are your three orb gold final forms for heroics from when your account was younger, or do you still work on them when you have opportunities? I've been dusting and recommending the same to new players. Oh, I already answered. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was going to say, I already answered that, but yep. All right. Uh, so I think I'm ready. I just want to make sure I'm on the right deck. Yep, I'm on the right deck. Uh, so I start off with Master Healer, and um, oh, just so you guys see, so the first two days I was able to do... Um, 150 for each which is getting through I think the first two bosses but uh, maybe not I don't think I actually got through the first two rounds um, last night but I was super tired so I, I think I ended it early or didn't actually finish so what I'm looking for when I'm first starting off here is actually a lot of my bronze combo cards because Anne is really easy to beat so if I can get rid of some of those bronze cards now I will so I'm going to redraw for that reason and Elf is one I would probably use right now, and that's actually a good combo for Elf, so it's a win-win there. Uh, the other thing I'm trying to do right now is get my combo meter up quickly. So this two, the, the metal and magic is going to be a great combo for me because it gets the health meter up quickly and it kills Anna. And then um, I like to at least get about 100 health before I switch over to Master... Alchemist. Now I realize playing underdog that that's not realistic for him. So for him, I usually swap over after Pim, or uh, potentially the person after Pim. Uh, I think for you, it's going to depend on when you get to about your halfway point of your battles. Um, I know as you get further in uh, to rounds, sometimes. Mm, okay, so in this situation, I know Albert's easy to beat. So I'm just going to play this just because it's going to give me five extra health and it's not really going to do anything to Albert being able to kill him no matter what. I'm going to do it again. Because I'm, I'm okay with wasting those guys if that means I get five extra health for free. Uh, I don't think I like that. I don't like that. So we're just going to use this guy. Um, sorry, I lost my tra train of thought there. Um, and I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> so you'll just have to forgive me. If you guys can remind me what I said, thanks. But uh, otherwise, I'll go back to my story about the zoo. So we went to the zoo. We were there for about an hour. Um, we got there about 4 o'clock, and it closes at 5. So we, we, were, we knew it was going to be a short visit. But um, afterwards, we went to this pizza place. And let me tell you guys, I've not had pizza in a while. And it was a, it was a New York style, so it was a thin crust. And it was chef's kiss. <laughs> it was delicious. Uh, I'm going to do Night with Anger because that's a good combo and I should kill him. What am I drinking? Um, so the pizza place did not have very many choices when it came to fountain drinks. Um, they had a Coke machine that had Coke, Sprite, um, Diet Coke, and Pib. So I went with Mr. Pib. Um, cause I'm, I'm a Dr. Pepper fan myself. Although typically I get diet Dr. Pepper because the ads are true. Diet Dr. Pepper does taste very much like regular Dr. Pepper. And the only thing that tastes identical drink wise, hundred percent identical is root beer. If you find a diet root beer and a root beer from the same maker, you can't tell the difference between the two, unless you have like that ability to taste aspartame. I know some people have that weird ability to be able to taste it. I can't. And I I can't 
tell the difference between the two. Is that really the best option I have? I think that's the only option I have. Oh no, I'm gonna do that. Fran Coy's kiss, yes, yes. Fran Coy's kiss. <laughs> Uh, still don't like these options. Um, I'm gonna use that one. That was the right choice. Those are both horrible too. So I'm just gonna use this and hope I get close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, pretty close indeed. Okay, so I've got one left. I think I'm just gonna do this, even though it's. A better combo it gets rid of another bronze card from my deck and now I'm gonna switch because I'm above that hundred HP I wanted to do and I remembered um, if I was going for the speed run which this is not because obviously I'm taking my time but if I was going for the speed run um, I would only use master elementalist and hope that I'm able to survive through that area probably reduce my deck a little bit um, get rid of all the bronze combo cards and just have the gold, silver, and onyx in there if I was going for the speed run, just in case you guys were wondering. But I'm going for longevity, so I have more cards in here so I get more turns. Um, I think I'm actually going to do that. I, I agree with uh, with you, Top. I am not hoarding gold. I spend my gold as soon as I can, as quickly as I can, and I usually have a goal of what I'm trying to do with my gold. So obviously I already said my first goal right now is leveling up Rainbow, so it's at level 4. And I think I can double check real quick. I'm pretty sure my gold is, well, it's whatever I just have right now, so a couple hundred gold. But my um, dust is about 50, oh, 78, and I need 147 to level it up. So I should get, get enough um, for by tomorrow to level that up. I typically will um, do my purchases after I've done all my first rounds for the day. So... I'll just use my gold once per day, unless I'm close enough that I can, you know, if I got 200 more coins, I can level this guy up, then I'll do it right away. But in this type of situation, it's going to take a day anyway, so I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. So in terms of my final form cards, uh, I really hate this card, so I'm going to try to use it. The sun, sun has horrible combos for my deck. I've, I've had a hard time with it, so when I can get rid of it quickly, I'm going to. Um, I've lost my train of thought again. I apologize. Remind me what I was saying, guys. <laughs> hey, Andrew Sam's here. Hello, welcome. Mr. A. Yeah, that's tough. If I would say my, my mind for gold is if you can spend it to level up cards you have now, I would recommend doing so. Um, but that's that's me. I, I live for today. I don't live for the uh, speculation of tomorrow. Oh, good old Francois. <laughs> for those of you that were not here on Tuesday, we discovered that Joe does not know how to say Francois. He says Francois. So I have to call it Francois from now on. I was talking about Golden Dust. Oh gosh, I can't remember, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get rid of that rainbow quickly, too, because I don't need to use it. Oh, so yeah. Um, so Final Form cards. I, I don't use them until I get... Um, Probably to about Xanthar, maybe sometimes Miles, unless um, the person I'm playing against is um, a Master Alchemist or a Master Healer, 
So Master Alchemist, if I'm Master Alchemist, like I am right now, or Elementalist, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm saying Alchemist. Elementalist, when, when you have the fire damage. And the reason why is because they can sometimes do a lot of damage to you quickly. Typically, your Enchanter guy is not going to do a lot of damage, so you're fine taking your time against them. And um, But with, with the... Um, Elementalist, they're going to be ticking you down five health every single turn, so you want to get rid of them as quickly as you can. And then if I am Master Healer and the person I'm playing against is Master Healer, that is also a time when I would be using my final forms. But typically I won't use them until I get to Xanthar, because that's when it really kicks up and um, the health is, is high enough that you can't beat the person before they, they get their full orb count in, typically. And then in addition to that, they will be a more aggressive and use it uh, more more quickly than um, than the other opponents beforehand. So Miles here will sometimes use his final form right now, and sometimes he doesn't. It just depends. So he didn't use it that time, um, but he will probably use it right now. So knowing that, I'm going to try to see. I don't have any good defensive options here, so I'm just going to use this. That should kill him. Oh, just shy by one. And Frankois was already defeated, guys. Sorry, but Miles is down now. Dat said, I just Yolo swag Godian and hoping my current action doesn't affect my future in LA. <laughs> well, apparently I got some heat. Um, you just reminded me. I don't know why that reminded me of this, but um, I was mentioning on discord that i'm going to be dusting one of my diamond final form cards because i have four of them and they're curse cards so i'm never going to fuse them because i won't use a curse card there's no purpose to it and i can't believe how many people were up in arms that i would want to do that oh, this is a horrible hand okay well gotta go with what i have That's, that's just as bad, so we're going to go with this option. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Don't know if that was the right option, but... Oh, well. There we go. Oh, one left. Of course there's one left. Do I have any defense options? I sure don't. Okay, so I'm just going to use you. <laughs> Change of plans, you're buying... Rat Pack to get Rat Reaper. Yeah, he is pretty cool looking. That's one of the nice things too. This deck has such a variety that I get to see combo cards that I have not seen in a long time. Um, or th that I forgot existed. Um, and I think it was because of this deck that I got so excited about the backfills. Because I realized there's a lot of awesome cards that you can only create using like one or two unique card options and that's just a real shame because they've, they've taken all this time to make all these beautiful cards with these beautiful artworks and then there's just like you need this specific card and this specific card in order to do it and it's like who's who has those cards no one um so i i was trying to bring in a little bit more variety with with the backfills maybe one day on here i'll go through those backfills with you guys there's a couple hundred of them um, but just so you can kind of get an idea of what they are, what they look like. Oh, that was a horrible decision on my part. Uh, for two reasons there, but we'll just do this. All right, so we just got through the first set with all the way through Ella. Now, there's an important thing that I've noticed here. You get a little bit of a, a drop down with Anna in terms of the difficulty. She, she scales back again. Um, she's going to be a lot harder than the first Anna. But I typically will use my turns with her to hopefully, on this first turn, get a healing card. So I don't want it from here, but I'm going to redraw, and if I get a healing card, I'm going to use it right away. Ah, oh, didn't get it. Okay, there we go. Because typically, her first one is a little bit easier to use, um, to battle against, and you'll get just a little bit more health from her that way. She's going to probably do a final form here, so I don't want to use that. I want a little bit more of a higher defense. So I'm actually just going to use this guy. And she didn't use it, so she'll guarantee to use it on this next turn instead. 
Uh, these are all horrible. I'm gonna have to. Dat said, yeah, Franken Dr. Frankenstein has a pretty cool art, but he's my only diamond final form card, and it gets really boring winning with the same card all the time. Mr. Andersam, if you want to run with that video, feel free to run with that. This is Anna 2. Yeah, this is Anna 2. I, um, I can only beat the first two rounds right now with this deck. I used to be able to get through three and a half or so with my old deck, but I'm, I'm missing, I, I, at the start of this, I, I went through my deck and I, I told everyone I'm missing probably at least 10 to 15 Onyx cards. Some of those were fused and they're just not here, uh, as well as quite a few of my di diamond final form cards like Sniper. I had two of those and they're missing and it's a shame. I'm still missing some cards, but uh, overall I've, uh, I'm happy to be able to play on this account again, so I can't complain. Um, so it looks like after this round, I'm probably going to have to switch back to Master Healer just because these last two have both been Elementalists and they're kicking my booty and I'm losing my health and I'm down to 30 health. So hopefully I'll be able to survive because that's going to be pretty sad if I wipe right here. Um, but stranger things have happened, so I wouldn't put it past this. Um, I'm going to just use this so I can swap yeah, that was, that was the right move to do, even though it was a overkill. I didn't, I wouldn't have survived another attack from him, and he would have used it on that next turn. So, all right, back to Master Healer we go. Joe said, my chat's been behind and just refreshed the stream. Did you happen to see my shop suggestion in the suggestions channel? Got buried by conversations about it. I'd love to hear other people's thoughts. I did not read your suggestion. So I, like I said, I went to the um, the zoo. So I have not been on Discord since um, earlier this morning. So um, if you want to PM me at Joe on Discord, I'll, I'll take a read on it. Um, that way I can make sure I see it because I, I kind of just marked everything as red because no one had tagged me, so I didn't think there was anything I needed to read right away. Oh, that's going to hurt me. No, I don't ha I don't have any combos, but he's he's final form attacking now. Oh, that was a good option there. And then I'm just going to use this. Again, this is one of those situations where um, oh, these are all horrible cards. Um, when we both are Master Healer, it can drag out the fight. I was watching uh, I can't remember. It was Jark and someone else, and they both were using Master Healer, and they went until until the very last <laughs> cards were in their hands, just because that's how the, the cards played out. I think I'll do one more round with Master Healer, and then I'm going to switch back to Master Attack, um, Master Elementalist, because I'm, I'm going to be draining my cards quickly here if I keep staying this way. So it's important to just stay this way until I get enough, enough health returned, maybe... 75 or so, not don't have to get all the way up to 100. All right, so she's going to use her attack. I'm going to use this one for now. It's always... So the, the reason why I don't use my final forms when she's got full combo meter is I don't want her to use a curse, and then I've just wasted a turn. Uh, just so I know. Okay, so we want to use that with that. Jark and... Ah, Aidsman. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was an interesting fight. That was, uh, that was a fun one to watch you two. I apologize. I could not remember that it was you, Aidsman. You can... Uh, you can give me a hard time about that. All right, so 
I don't think those two make a good combo. Yeah, so I'm just going to use this one and hope. I Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to switch back to Master uh, Elementalist or whatever it's called. I really need to remember all these names, guys. I'm getting older, though. It's harder. <laughs> Master Elementalist. Okay, I'm, I'm not going crazy after all. Thank you, It's. That's nice of you to say. I'm I'm happy to see this account too. So cannot complain one bit. I think I'm actually gonna. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna try to do the other one, but that's okay. That's a good combo. Um, okay, so in this situation, Leopold is probably going to use his final form, so I'm actually going to use Sir Lancelot and hope that he does a critical strike. Oh, he did a curse, so that was a reflect, so that's the worst option that he could have done. Oh well. Oh, those are both the same. Okay, so I'll do that option then. You need to make a your tech support video? Is that meaning uh, telling people how how to fix it so you can... Uh, play the game again if you're in the same situation I'm in. Is that what you mean by that, Platt? Yeah, that other video was hilarious, Platt. I, Mr. Anderson just commented right now, but yeah, that was a great video. It made me laugh. You have some great uh, comedic chops. Oof, what a terrible hand. All right. I definitely need more diamond final form cards. So that's after, um, I, that's what I think I was talking about earlier. Um, after I get my rainbow card leveled up, my next focus or goal, this is a horrible hand. My next goal is going to be um, getting my diamond final form cards leveled up. Um, the first one, like I said, is going to be food squad. And the reason why is because Food Squad can be um, added to my arena and my heroics if I um, do it correctly. And then um, I have a whole list of final forms I need to go through and, and level up. I'll show you guys that uh, after this round. Oh, I'm super bright now. I apologize. Oof. Let me... Uh... That is on my docs, my Google Docs. Untitled document? Nope, not that. I'm trying to find it, and I'm in the wrong part of my docs, so that's why I can't find it. <laughs> I don't want docs, I want sheets. There it is. Okay. Oh, I need to research that still. Space and Golem don't make a combo yet. That's I was confused. Oof, I'm going to have to uh, go back to Master Healer again here. All right, so let me... Change my capture again. I get the entire screen. All right. Put that like that. Put this. Yes, maybe maybe later I shall subscribe to you. Oh, not full screen. Okay. So this is. Uh, I kind of shared this in the Discord, so I apologize if you've already seen this. Uh, let me make this bigger though. Like, is there no zoom on here? I felt like there should be a zoom. Oh well. View. Zoom. 200%. Okay, so these are my um, my final diamond final form cards that I have that that are all just level one right now. So the quantity shows here, and then obviously the the full attack and defense when it's leveled up, and then the type. I just did that for my own purposes, so I knew what to focus on. Um. So like I said, I'm going to level up two food squads and fuse them and add them to my arena. 
the other two I probably will level up but not fuse and then I'm just gonna go down this list and start leveling these guys up to level five each and put them in my um, heroics deck and I think I'd rather do that than add additional final forms but I'll have them all in there uh, the ones that have four outside of this curse um, I probably will fuse at least one of them so I, I have the maximum threes in there um, but just kind of give you an idea uh, some of the absorbs I might also fuse um, if I feel like I need more absorb cards but uh, for the most part I probably probably won't but let me uh, go back to be right back get this bad boy changed back over to what it's supposed to be go back to main okay Joe, you're, you're killing me here. Hold on a second. I've got to go be right back. Turn off my notifications. Well, not turn them off, but hide them. That way, just in case someone tries to be funny, it won't pop up. All right. No, you're fine, Joe. I'm just giving you a hard time. Go back over here. Also, by the way, guys, I just want to say thank you for your support. Uh, this this stream that's going on right now is going to get me the qualifications to become Twitch affiliate. Well, at least it'll get me all the things I need for Twitch affiliate. I don't actually know if it's as easy as pushing a button and getting Twitch affiliate. But uh, what that means is I believe I will be able to have emotes on here so i'll need to figure out some emotes uh i remember a long time ago on our discord someone made a meme of me of like my face on burning man i don't know where it is or what where that was but that'd be a funny one to use on here but i i need to follow i need to make sure i read all the rules and know what you're supposed to do but i just wanted to say thank you guys for all of the um support and and watching this channel and uh helping me branch out a little bit here and obviously the support for Mr. A and I on YouTube has been incredible and we, we greatly appreciate everything and I think that's game I wiped myself there bummer but uh, I I'm, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to have twitch affiliate here okay so that put me at rank 26 and I think rewards are at rank 20. <laughs> But I don't believe I'm really anywhere close to being able to make it into the top 20. So if I go worldwide, top 20, their score is 615 and my score is 415. So I'm very far away in terms of getting into the top 20. Uh, I'm in one of those little buckets where it doesn't matter for me. But uh, I'll at least be able to get that for now. But long term, with the cards I have here, I should be able to make it into those top 20. Uh we, we were joking on Discord about the fact that um, I said it's going to take 30,000 dust to level all those cards up, which on on the quickest end, if um, I didn't have any additional Onyx cards come in or anything like that, um, it would probably take me a year being realistic to get through all those cards I showed you guys on the screen it'd probably take closer to two if not a little bit longer than that but that's just the uh, the nature of this game so I I, uh, I might have to buy some packs when they eventually return but uh, for now I've got plenty plenty to do in front of me uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of arena here. What would you write here, Dat? <laughs> you, are you making a new copy pasta or something? That that looks like a copy pasta to me. <laughs> oh. Mr. Anderson Water Dragon. Oh man. You and your water dragon. You're going to marry that thing, I'm telling you. <laughs> if 
we get emotes, we should make grabbers and Mr. Ted emotes and a new tap dog emote. Yeah. That was pretty that was pretty good, Platt. Uh Tyler, you want uh, I, I'm assuming that's Tyler, right? Josh the jetpack. Um, if if I see Tyler, I will play. But um, I'm telling you now, I've I said I've tied with Dex, and it was your deck because you're also Master Healer, and you have a fairly strong deck. And so every time I I play you, we will both kill each other. I want to say on turn five or something. Mr. Andersam, I say it's worthless, so you run too. Yes, that is true. It is worthless. It's garbage. If if I get those cards, I'm just dusting them just to just to make you mad. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Andersam and I are actually. Oh, speaking of speak of the devil, let's go, let's go. Got gotta gotta show him <laughs> who's boss. Um, no, Mr. Andersam and I like to tease each other here and there, uh, but uh, no, we're, we're we're good. We support each other. Much love to one another. Oh, look at that! He's gonna kick my butt here, guys. This is this is a serious serious battle. Oof, oof, oof! Indeed, I don't uh, I don't think I can beat him right now. That's that's a horrible card to use, but I think it's a slightly better option than the alternative. Yeah, that was a slightly better option, but I'm going to use this and hope he doesn't... Okay, good. Mr. Anderson, for a minute I thought you were going to beat me there. That was a close one. I am, I am inching my way towards Legendary 1. Um, well, let's try Spider, since I already played Mr. Andersam. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mr. A. I thought for sure that you were going to beat me there. I was, I was just as confident as you were that I was, I was going down, but, uh, the, the RNG gods were on my side with that one. This is another hand that's kicking my butt, man. I'm going to play this quickly just so I can uh, heal up. I think that's the better option. Oof, I just lost. You guys got to see Tap Dog lose live against Spider. Spider's OP, guys. Yeah, last week, L Legendary 1 was rank 42. You are right, Joe. You are correct. Um, Mushwush, since uh, we know he's a part of the Discord, we gotta fight Mushwush. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. It's a sad day, guys, that I, I had to lose. I, I had to show you that I was mortal like you guys. It's like that um, that 300 sequel where they had, uh, was it Xerxes, who uh, he thought he was a god, but, uh, or was it just 300? I can't remember now. <laughs> they throw the spear and it hits his cheek and he starts bleeding just, just to show that he was human, that he could bleed. Oh, oh gosh, guys. Oh, all right, choose. Who do you want me to fight, Joe? My other account or mush whoosh. I will uh, I will wait to see your guys' responses before I I choose. So write write it out. Choose who you want. I've I've got I'm seeing a bunch of yeses here, but that's not that's not a choice, Joe. You guys want me to fight mush whoosh again, Joe or underdog? I see one underdog and I see one Joe. I see two Joes. Anyone else want to speak before I uh, before I make my vote choice? Go Joe. I've got three Joes and an underdog. Anyone else? 
Joe, okay. If I get one more Joe, we're going with Joe. Poll is closing in five, four, three, two, one. Joe it is. Here you go, Joe. Just for you. Oh, look, I'm pretty close to you, too. I might I might pass you up here. Not on this turn, obviously, but uh, fairly soon. This is a fun thing. So Arcade is a unique one. It does 35-30 here. It also does 35-30 there, and I believe... Okay, not there, too. I was going to say, and I believe it does it there. Oh, it's the cartoon with Knight does 35-30. So just a, a fun little happenstance that I, I knew about that card. Um, that's a 34-30, right? Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted it to do, but that's all right. So Joe here, unfortunately, he only has one final form card in his deck, so it's very rare for him to use a final form card because um, the odds are not on his side. So you can be a little bit more risky with your your choices for your card you play down because he's not going to uh, use a final form on you. I'm sorry, but, but best of luck to you, Joe. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with Apple Man. I think he also is in the Discord, so he, if he wants to see himself a, a battle against this account, he can, can see this now. Here's a combo that I, I have in the backfills that I always think about, and I hope that they'll bring it because it makes so much sense to me. But I'd like to see Chinchilla here and Tree get combined to make Koala because I feel like a, the, the Tree Chinchilla is a Koala. That's just, sorry, my random thought when I saw those two cards right now. It's not a good, not very many options here. Ooh, I should have gone the other way. It's all good. If I'm not winning Arena with negative HP, I'm not truly winning. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how it's not a combo yet. It makes sense to me that that would be a combo, but uh, unfortunately, it's not. I I think I will. I, I don't have the um, backfill combos readily available. It, it'd take a little bit of time to, to get the, the document to show you guys, but um, I really dug deep to say, okay, here's a final form card. What would make sense to combo to make this? I'm going to fight Negan. There are silver combo cards plus bronze combo cards that make diamond combos, so it's not a uh, a crazy idea, Pomo. Which ones? Oh gosh, you're gonna call me on that off the top of my head. I can't remember, but I. <laughs> Um, you guys are giving me a hard time now. I've got to look at my, my sheet to show you guys. Um, the other thing that they've done is they do make a gold combo version of some cards that will upgrade to diamond. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, Dat, is the Onyx combo card versions of bronze combos make diamond combos. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident, no, that there is... I don't think I've ever seen Jamek. I'm pretty sure there are some that combo together. I'm going to have to look at my metal, because I think it's a metal. It's so the way Mr. Anderson could probably explain this more eloquently than I can, but what they can put in the game files is that um, the resulting combo, what it would become. And I think they have them ranked one, two, three, four, and five for the various bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and onyx. And so they would be able to make Koala be a gold combo when it's 
done with the bronze and silver version, and then it could become a diamond combo if it was done with the bronze versions, or I mean, sorry, with the um, the onyx versions, and then they can also make it become onyx if it's two onyxes that would combo together to make it. Uh, I think we're gonna go against Ian here. That's a horrible hand. I mean, it's a great hand, but it's a horrible hand. And I know Ian, I fight him often with underdog, so that's why I'm trying to get my bars up quickly, because typically he's a two turn full five combo. And then this turn he'll do a final form. I've got a lot of research left to do on here too. That's the other frustrating thing, because I think I was out of research on uh, on Tap Dog the last time I had used this account. So it's it's a shame to see that uh, that is not the case now. So like it's a diamond, but just with the stats of a gold? No, so they can actually change the look of the cards just like um, if, if you use a bronze metal and combo it with something, the, the result is different than if you were to use a onyx metal. The results would be a different type of card, even though they, they make the same combo. Let me go to the combos and show you guys. So combo archive. No, not that. Um, is it the card archive? I don't know if it's going to be on here. Uh, it just shows the cards card info it must be in that other one yeah this is the this is not going to help me this is a horrible ui when i select a card it will automatically select it so let me see if i can find a an example of one that would make sense. Is it this one? No recipe showing. I can't find a good example off the top of my head on here, but basically one of these cards, like this alien sorceress here, if you were to have a recipe, let's do alien reptile since I have a combo here. So I have space onyx and I, um, so if I was to combo reptile with my space onyx, it would make it, um, instead of an alien reptile like this, it would make a diamond version instead of the gold version. So s same idea there, where they, they have the ability to increase the level with a combo. They can also, in my mind, they'd be able to decrease the combo. So with koala, it's so over here, instead of it being a diamond form, they could just make it be the gold variety of it. So it'd have, you know, less attack and defense when it actually gets comboed up. Yeah, Joe, same idea. The diamond, um, a diamond version of a card that's normally gold. So it'd just be the reverse of that. Uh, Platt said, yeah, so it's Onyx combo card upgrade all combos to diamond minimum, and you can get onyx combos by combining two onyxes. Yes, that's correct. So it's just kind of the reverse of that. Yeah, exactly. That lets you have a lot more help for the lower tier people as well, because everyone's going to be able to have chinchilla, uh, chinzilla and uh, I'm sorry, chinchilla and tree. Since tree is a bronze combo card, everyone will have that right away and. Um, Chinchilla is a fairly easy silver card to get. I mean, sometimes it can be difficult, but it would allow you to have a, a more deck variety because then you can have some gold cards that you couldn't have before. You're currently devouring a bagel. That is fun. Uh, just a plain bagel, or are you, are you uh, mixing it up with your variety there, Rackus? We, we need details, man. Um... I think I'm done with my arena here, but let me, um, I'm going to click be right back real quick. Um, 
switch to chatting view so you guys can see me. I'm going to turn off this phone and just kind of give you guys a look at my... By the way, this is... Don't laugh. My, my tablet had been put into this lovely butterfly case for my daughter to use. Sorry, I'm holding it the wrong way. And um, she's not really using this. <laughs> so I've hijacked it to put uh, my little alchemist game on here uh, for underdog for now. Long term, I think I'm going to have to get another um, device, like a, an iPad or an upgraded iPad, because this one keeps crashing. But um, AirPlay. not going to give me the option. Oh, there we go. And mirror. Okay. Close that out. Put this bad boy up. Go back to main. Um, just so you guys can see my, my sad state for poor underdog here. He's, he's in a third world country right now. A bagel with avocado. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. So so again, it takes a long time for this to load. You, you guys are just getting, getting an idea here. Um, and then depending on what I click, I sometimes will get lucky and be able to actually access the thing that I need to access. Nine times out of ten, though, when I try to select Adventure or Arena or anything on here, it will try loading and then it will crash. So this is the, the poor life that Underdog is in right now. I was able to get through a full um, 15 battles with Underdog earlier today, but watch. I am just clicked on Arena, so let's see what happens. But the prognosis is not going to be good for this. <laughs> so I just want to show you guys my, my poor... My poor feelings here. Yep, crash. Oh, and now you can see all my, my daughter's lovely apps that are on here. <laughs> um, also, she's she's not old enough to use this, so if, if we use this with her, it's more of a distraction like in the, the car or something or something along those lines. So again, takes forever to load, but I'm not, I'm not gonna play on this. I just wanted you guys to see this, but let me go back to chatting. I um, was planning on today doing actual other games besides this, um, but because I got the TapDog account back, um, I wanted to spend an hour going through that account so you guys could see it playing Heroics and doing some Arena. But uh, I think long term, I will probably be focusing mostly on TapDog, even if I get uh, another easier way to, to use the underdog account on a different iPad or on a, an old phone or something. Um, just because that, that one has so much more time played and invested into it. Um, I don't, I don't want to show this on screen, but I'm just going to look real quick at both of them for some quick stats, just to give you an idea in comparison of, uh, the amount of time played between the two. So for underdog, he's got 2,200 wins, 2,700 arena wins. Tapdog shows 13,000 wins and 21,000 arena wins. So a, a lot more time spent on Tapdog than uh, Underdog. Cards discovered on Underdog is 300. Uh, on Tapdog, it's 450. So there's not that big of a difference in the total number of cards that have been discovered, but where you see the big difference is combos. Underdog has 880 combos discovered. Tapdog has 1,525. And what's even crazier than that, like I said, I I want to say my... Uh, I can actually look it up to see what my uh, highest numbers, if those were higher before, because I think when it got reset, it actually changed some of these numbers too. Yeah, well, I don't have... So I only have a photo from 2017, but that one showed uh, 
1550 combos discovered, whereas I only have 1525 discovered right now. So I imagine there was a lot more discovered in that extra year of time that's missing between 2017 and 2018. So I don't know. Long story short, I've, I've lost it. There's nothing I can, I can do to, to get those missing times because I think I, I must have opened an old save file and wrote over the more recent save file, and there's no way to get that back, at least not that I know of. Joe said, Andersham said that his phone died and he had to go. He also said, sorry, and now I'm his favorite. <laughs> he says it's his daughter's apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, Platt, I, I, don't, I don't expect you to, to perform miracles. I was missing the account for three years. Uh, but even in, in, so what had happened three years ago, and I think I mentioned this on, on the YouTube video, was I... I think I got a new phone and so I backed up my phone and then switched to the new one but I don't know if my restore process did a old backup or something but I had lost quite a few months of progress and at that point I was frustrated I tried to to restore and I think I lost the game completely and I was just like okay I'm not going to touch anything I'm not going to do anything and I just said you know what it's it's time to call it I reached out to um to chin and just let them know hey, this is what's going on and i think that's when they kind of stopped updating the game and they unfortunately didn't ever do the backfill combos which i i feel frustrated about because I, I hyped them up and i'd really like to see those come out and that's really not hard for them to do either um they just had to copy and paste my my data into their servers and i don't know why they decided to not do that but uh sorry that's that's neither here nor there i'm hoping Monumental will be able to uh, to put those in. Um, from my talks with Monumental, I will say the game is extremely fragile. Uh, as you could tell with the game going down for nearly a whole day earlier this week. Um, and so because of that, Monumental, I don't think they actually had the servers transferred over to them yet, even though they were supposed to on the first. Um, just because the game was broken, so they said, "All right, revert it back. We got to figure this out." So there is a chance we'll have another server swap sometime soon, uh, probably in another week or two. I think they're trying to figure out what went wrong. Um, so there, there is a chance that in another week or two from now, when they swap the servers again, there might be down time again. So just be prepared for that. But um, they're really not working on the game yet because they're still trying to figure out how to migrate it over to their servers so that they can actually um, start looking at it, playing with it, testing it out. But for now, they, they can't do that yet. So just be patient. It's Like, like I said, it's going to take months. This game is a game that you have to be patient for anyway. So just, just pretend like that's what you have to do anyway. Um, Platt, yes, it is confirmed uh, per my, my conversations with Monty. He, he shared with me that they uh, weren't able to transfer the game over to their servers. So even though they, they own the game now, it is, uh, it is not on their servers at this point. Hopefully soon, though. <laughs> um, Joe, I will do my best to explain like your five. So some of the content that you play on the game is on your actual phone. So when you go to adventure mode and you're playing those bosses, that is all handled by your phone. Anytime you do something that is part of the online experience, so doing the arena or doing heroics, you are actually connecting to um, the, at this time, congregate servers. And that's for them to know that the, the battle was legitimate and then to know if you won or lost so they can put your rankings in. And so it points to congregate servers because that's where all the information is stored in terms of who is at what rank and why or, or you know what, what their stars are and all that type of stuff what their um, current number of energy is all of that stuff is stored there um, and that's because if you stored it on your phone directly you could um, alter the game and, and give yourself unlimited 
um, energy or, or give you yourself unlimited stars and things like that. And so they're able to more control and, and make sure that there's less cheating in the arena and heroics by doing that. Obviously, there's people who found loopholes, as we know, on various aspects of it. But uh, all they're going to do is, is say, instead of our devices looking to congregate server, they're going to look at this mirrored version that's over here on Monumental. But Platypus probably explained that better than me, so let me see what he said. It basically means that all the information of your account and arena and the stuff like that is stored in this big box. That's job is to connect to the internet. What they need to do is get that information into their own big box. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Platypus. You, you probably explained that better than I did. Um, but the, the, I guess the problem is it's not as easy as saying instead of uh, your phone to look here, you need to look there. Um, something in their coding is also built to say if I, I, well, I'm speculating here, let me just say that, but um, it might be saying something like if this is not pointing to here, then don't work because that's what apparently happened. When they switched, migrated over to the monumental servers, it, it wouldn't load, it, there was some type of an error. And so they're trying to fix that so that uh, long term, um, will be able to point to their servers and the one of the benefits there is they'd be able to um, immediately kick people that are cheating as, because it's on their own servers right now they have to go through congregate to say this person needs to be removed and, and they're not going to deal with that type of stuff currently because it's so little but if the game's down and broken they would Uh, Joe, yeah, for the the most part, that that's that might kind of explain it to you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Dad. So, so what they shared with me, it'll, it'll probably be a couple more weeks until they retry the migration process, just because I'm guessing they they realize what was wrong with the code and they have to try to rewrite it quickly. Hopefully, they can rewrite it rewrite it quick enough that it will work the next time. But there there is a chance that this is going to happen again, where they try to migrate and the game goes down so just be prepared for that there's going to be a bunch of these types of hiccups as, as they learn the coding and I, i've tried to stress that a few times but just be expecting that ho happening more and more uh, i also just realized quick thanks to blob wrath stink it's zeke's mr andersam and rackus for following i appreciate you guys i love that um, i don't know if i'm going to play any more little alchemist um, i think i'm probably going to jump off here pretty soon um i did play fortnite yesterday with joe but i might take a quick break here and jump back in in a, a minute or two to fortnite so if anyone wants to leave feel free um but if anyone wants to play some fortnite with me i'll try to put that up on the screen um my epic username Almost got it, just not the backspace. <laughs> but if you want to add me as a friend, feel free. Um...